a great pleasure to have you here this morning to welcome Tara here in San Diego. Uh, my name is Stefan Richard from the French Bayou Beach organization who's been acting as a local contact for Tara Oceans. And it is my pleasure to introduce first Scott Peters, the chairman of the Port of San Diego. Sir. I like the French way where the port chairman jumps in front of the mayor. <laughs> I wanted to uh, congratulate and welcome the folks associated with Terra Oceans to San Diego. Um, we at the port are supportive of any effort to understand the ocean. In particular, uh, we are we are uh, partners in the Center for Bay and Coastal Dynamics with Scripps Institution of Oceanography, San Diego State, and Hubs uh, uh, Research, because we're working very hard to understand the science of our bay, both as it affects our business as a port because of sea level rise and things like that, but also the habitat and creatures under the sea. So we very much support your effort. And we have, uh, we have uh, passed, without much controversy, a proclamation proclaiming that the Board of Port Commission of the San Diego Unified Port District supports the nonprofit marine expedition and wish Terra Oceans well in all conditions of weather and sea. And we adopt this proclamation honoring you today. So welcome to San Diego. Uh, good luck in your voyage and your research. And uh, Roman, I'll give this to you. And then it's my pleasure to introduce Mayor of San Diego, Jerry Sanders. Good morning, thank you very much. On behalf of the city of San Diego, I'd like to welcome the captain, who is very, I'm just looking around for his feet, who's very comfortable right now, captain. The crew and the scientists aboard the uh, Terra Oceans, and we're happy to have you in San Diego. Uh, Scott talked about uh, the ocean is central to life in San Diego. Not only is the beach a huge part of our culture, but the oceanographic and biodiversity research at Scripps Institution of Oceanography is truly part of San Diego's identity. For the next few weeks, you'll be part of a community that celebrates our ocean and our bays. San Diego cares deeply for the health of the ocean and understands better than most communities the role it plays in a healthy planet. I know San Diego is one of dozens of stops you'll make on your three-year journey but I trust the science you'll collaborate with and the citizens you'll meet during your stay will make it one of the most memorable. So once again, thank you very much and welcome to San Diego. It is now my pleasure to introduce David Martineau, General Counsel of France in Los Angeles. Merci, Stéphane. Um, dear Maya Sanders, good to see you again. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Dear Mr. Carsanti, who is the head of the uh, Tara, Tara Oceans Expeditions, uh, dear crew members of Tara, and, and ladies and gentlemen, it's, uh, it's a great day today. It, in San Diego, all days are great. Uh, and it's really a pleasure for me to be here today. I'm, I'm particularly th thrilled, let's say, for three main reasons. The first is that uh, Tara represents an incredibly exciting scientific but also human adventure. Uh, it's uh, on, on one of our last frontiers about which we still know so little. And uh, for me, as a French guy, it reminds me of uh, Captain Cousteau's expeditions. I, I've grown up in, in that. It even reminds me of Tintin, by the way, Tintin for, the, for you Americans. And I, I love that. Uh, the uh, Terra Oceans expedition brings together uh, scientists of a very high caliber from 21 countries, and that's just fantastic. The second reason I'm thrilled is that my country, France, has supported Tara from uh, uh, day one. Uh, as a result of the initiative's own merits, but also because my country has been a strong advocate for oceans protection and biodiversity conservation. Uh, as you may know, France has the second largest exclusive uh, economic zone, second only to uh, the American one. And the oceans are therefore a key concern for us uh, French, French officials. And uh, since 2009, we have been uh, establishing a, a national strategy to try and protect 
uh, ocean diversity and ocean uh, biodiversity conservation. Uh, we try, in that strategy, we try to uh, be successful in integrating biodiversity into economic decision making. Uh, we try to include biodiversity issues into all curricula of the education system and uh, we are sure that it's going to be crucial for the future of uh, our world. Um, and we are also actively involved in making sure that oceans and biodiversity are high on the agenda of the upcoming Rio Plus 20 conference, which should set the tone for the next decade in terms of sustainable development. And, and for us, Tara Oceans is, is a wonderful asset to help us highlight these issues. And that's the third reason why I'm particularly thrilled to be here. Um, Tara Oceans, from its very beginning, has strived the bridge to bridge the gap between science and the public, and especially the younger generations. And I would like to thank the crew members of Tara for going to the schools, meeting the students, meeting the teachers, uh, meeting the press, because we definitely think that all that is extremely important. Uh, we are indeed the first generation to know with certainty that human activity affects climate change. And we are indeed the last generation to actually be able to take actions before irreversible consequences turn the ecological balance of the planet upside down. And it is now time to make decisions. Uh, our presidents, President Obama and President Sarkozy, have constantly underlined their personal commitments in the fight against climate change. But to a larger extent, their success also depends upon our fellow citizens, on how informed and how involved they are. Politicians, Mr. Mayor, need public support to achieve real change. One day, President Roosevelt said to a group seeking his support for their cause, he said, I agree with you. I want to do it. Now make me do it. That's exactly what Tara Oceans tries to do along with its uh, scientific achievements. Uh, so thank you very much for what you've been doing. And uh, since I am in San Diego today, and it's always a pleasure to be here because we come back tanned. I'm from Los Angeles. It's not so bad neither. Uh, I also would like to take the opportunity to remind everybody that this year, two winners of the uh, Medicine Nobel Prizes are one French, uh, uh, Jules Hoffman from the University of, uh, of uh, Strasbourg, and the other is from San Diego, and, and he runs his lab just a few miles from here at the Scripps, and his name is Bruce Butler, as you know. And uh, being uh, the Consul General of France in Southern California in such circumstances, is quite pleasant. Thank you very much and enjoy the day. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Eric Carsanti, the scientist responsible of the project. Thank you very much, uh, everybody, and the city of San Diego for welcoming, welcoming us here uh, very nicely. Um, I just want to say a few words about uh, you know, the scientific motivations and how we organized the expedition to, to, to better uh, understand the marine ecosystems. So you know that 90% of life on Earth, the mass, is uh, in the oceans actually, and in the small organisms that constitute the plankton, you know, from viruses to fish larvae, there is a huge number of organisms in the ocean. actually for, for, for all of us. So we don't know much about these organisms, in particular about the ones that live offshore because there are lots of uh, stations which are of marine biological stations studying organisms uh, uh, close to land but offshore obviously it's much more difficult and on the whole planet it's even more difficult to get uh, information. 
So the goal of Terra Oceans by sailing around the world is to get information about all these organisms, uh, from viruses to fish larvae, as I said. And in order to do this, it was not only necessary to organize the expedition itself, but also to organize a consortium of scientists, which is an international consortium, uh, who are also very interdisciplinary, r ranging from oceanography to molecular biology, even physics and, um, and, and statistics. So it was not easy to put all these people together. And one of the great pleasure now is that I, you know, this works very well. People work extremely well together. And we collect a lot of data and samples from, from the expedition. And on land, uh, we also get now, we start to get very, very interesting results that I think would not be able to to collect without the collaboration of these people coming from very different disciplines. So I think this is a very interesting expedition in this sense for science, as well as for the communication, as it, this was said before, because uh, the Tara expedition uh, crew is also organizing a lot of events like this one, and, and in all countries with the, with the press, but also with the, the, the children. And the whole concept is very original and extremely enjoyable to work in. So I'm very pleased to be part of this uh, adventure. And I very well, we now know that it will finish pretty well because we finish soon. So um, I wish the whole expedition good success for the, the end and the, the analysis of the data. Thank you very much. And last but not least, I would like to introduce Romain Troublé, who's the general manager of the Tara Ocean Expedition. I'll be brief, as I see that the schedule is uh, going on. Uh, first, I would like to thank the Mayor Sanders and the Port San Diego Chairman Scott Peters for welcoming us here today, and also the museum, which is hosting us today, and uh, it's very kind. And yet, I have to say that out of 35 countries, this is the second country that is welcoming us as such. So it's pretty, pretty very, very nice to, from you. And I would also like to thank uh, the Consul de France, Mr. Martinon, to come here today. Very happy. Thank you for coming. And all the partners who help us to set up all this stopover in San Diego. I think about the French Bio Beach. I think about UK Sailmakers. I think about Joe Sad, Stephanie Thompson. Thank you very much for the, the thrill and the passion you put into the, the work since two months. And obviously the partners who, who make this expedition a reality since two years now. So really take this opportunity to thank them very much. Also, I have a gift for you, Chairman, of the, the last uh, expedition we did in the Arctic Ocean. It's a book and a DVD, a film, that you can look for. It was the two years expedition across the Arctic Ocean in 2006 and Just, just, a, just a, something to reply. And one last thing, I think this boat, you may know or not, this boat has been belonged to Sir Peter Blake. Sir Peter Blake was one of the main figures of the America's Cup in the, in the recent times. He won the Cup in 95, I'm sorry, for the, for the San Diego. And uh, Sir Peter Blake has been killed on board this boat nearly 10 years ago, like in, in a few weeks, it's going to be 10 years anniversary. And I would like to pay a tribute to Peter, uh, to being in San Diego, the city of the America's Cup. Uh, I think it's very important for us very important for, for the America's Cup community and the sailing community in the world. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, wish you a great day. <laughs>